Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Roger for Alex AR. Welcome to episode 5 of Chilling and Playing Minecraft. Today I'd like to show you how I make my cow farms. So what I, what I have is a sort of a grid arrangement where the cows sit. What you want is a rectangle that's 10 blocks wide and nine blocks long. Here we've got the stuff you'll need for it. You know, a couple of blocks of material, sorry, a couple of stacks of material, bucket, a couple of chests, a couple of hoppers, some sort of fence material. Fence, glass, pane, or iron bars will all work fine. And for that matter, you can use a cobblestone fence as well. Uh, you will need a water source. I seem to have a squid infestation in mine. And of course, you will need some of these guys, some cows. As you can see, I prepared some earlier. So, anyway, uh, let's have a stack of material. Same two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine long, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wide. Okay? And it'll end up being too high as well. So, is any blocks you want for this. I'm using, as you can see, I'm using the straw here. Because, you know, cows eat hay. So yeah, you're gonna make yourself this nice grid of these uh, these two by two cells here, mm -hmm. and there's gonna be water blocks there and mm -hmm. the other corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, should have done this in creative mode. It would have been quicker. So. So yeah, you finish up with this nice grid. Okay, I'm just gonna actually do one more. Okay, so yeah, you'll finish up with this grid that looks like this all the way along. I'm just gonna put a cut in here, finish this off, then be right back. Okay, so when you're finished, you should end up with this nice 3x3 three three grid. Okay. Next, we'll put some water down. Oh, oh, hang on. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, I've got a bucket here, that's right. Out of the way, squiddies. Okay, so we've got basically the space inside is 9 by 9 here. And when you put the water block there, 
there. Get this flower ball that pushes into the middle here. And goes along to this point here. Okay. Okay. So your cows are going to get pushed basically to this point. Right. We're going to dig these out. And our hoppers will need to go on these blocks here. Okay, so we'll have our hoppers and that can be put away. Actually, the hoppers will go in second. Chest in first. We'll have our double chest there. Probably not done this right once again. Sorry if I'm a bit rough here, this is the first uh, kind of really technical thing I've done, so I'm a bit, uh, yeah. So I'll make sure we've got the hoppers feeding into our chest, and I can see that they are indeed pointing into the chest. So whatever lands in there is going to feed into the chest. When you breed up your cows, you get baby cows pushed to this point. Oops. Alright. So your baby cows get pushed to this point. When they grow up, they won't be able to fit, so they'll crush, which will drop meat and leather. Now, as it is, baby cows will basically be pushed out into the world, so this needs to be sealed off somehow. So yeah, the way I have this on my cow farm on the Llama Craft mm. server, I've just got two... Oops, that's not So yeah, I've just got two panes there, which give me a viewing area, but still allows the chest to open. So yeah, the baby cows will just get pushed out to this point, and then they'll crush, giving them meat and leather. Now, of course, I need to add in some cows. See if I can tease these guys out. And straight away he's one drop room mm. one go. That's alright. Actually I'll have that lead as well, please. Oop! Both both of me cows have gone and wander off, so I'll forget them. And stay focus mate. Um, You come. Okay, so what I want is two cows in each cell, and as you can see, doing it in survival mode, it gets a little bit on the tricky side. You can get them in. In you go. Mm. Just a little bit of body needed. One. In you go. 
So yeah, eventually we'll end up with at least two cows in each cell. You can have more if you want, but it will cause lag eventually, so I just stick with two per cell. Actually gonna shoot a little bit here because I can't be bothered doing this manually. So let's go back into creative. So Gives us two cows per cell, and already I've got a little baby there. So, yeah, if you breed any calves, they will float down, and when they try to grow up, they will not have space and they will crush. Okay. Uh, they do tend to jump up and down, and they can actually bounce out on all the cages, which is where our fencing comes in. And again, that can be fence, that can be glass panels, it can be cobblestone wall. So again, that just goes over the top. By being over the top, it has kept the cows in nicely. And also, it stops you from falling in by accident, which is really handy. I'm going to need an axe, aren't I? Okay. And this temporary cow pen is of course not part of the finished product, so that goes off as well. Okay, so that cleans that up, and yeah, this is what the finished product looks like. Um, when breeding your cows in survival mode, they can be fed every five minutes. Uh, where's my wheat? So yeah, you can feed 
them every five minutes. When you feed them in the pairs, they of course produce calves. Um, baby calves will take 20 minutes to grow up. Once you've got the adult cow, it of course cannot exist in one high space and gets crushed. Depositing any beef or leather in here. So yeah, that's how I do my cow farm. Um, this is based on a design I've seen Elite Ascendo use on his various game servers. Uh, you can decorate this up any way you like. If you've seen my videos on from the Llama Craft server, you know that I've got Shrine Underground, the Above Ground. If you're clever with the water, you can make yourself a bigger grid. I've just gone with the 3x3 three three cells for simplicity. Um, you don't have to have the fences, but again, it help the cows stay in and you to stay out of the cells. And again, that's not the only collection system. That's the one I use. I just find it easy to throw together and convenient. So yeah, that's, that's my meat and leather farm. Or you could have something like this and just pop the glass out and just use it to breed cows to populate the server. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, if you've got any suggested improvements, do leave me a comment so I can uh, maybe use it to make the next video. You have yourselves a good day and thank you for watching. Bye.